To all who come to this happy kitchen, welcome. It's me, Lisa, happiest vegan on earth. And today we're making another copycat recipe of a dish that you can find in Disneyland. This one's actually from California Adventure and they're the plant-based tacos from the studio catering truck. You probably saw last week I made a copycat recipe of the vegan backlot nachos and those come from the same truck. But today we're gonna make the tacos. They have some of the same ingredients, but some different ingredients. So I thought we would make a copycat version of these as well. So let's get to making these. So the first thing we need to do is pickle this red onion. So it needs to be done an hour in advance. So um, we're gonna do this first and then we're going to um, make all the other stuff later. So I'll just get this um, sliced. I'm just going to do half of this red onion because um, it's just a garnish on top so it doesn't need to be um, all that much. So I'm going to actually slice this with my mandolin because I have it and it's a fun toy. Um, but if you don't have one of these, you can just um, slice it very thinly. Just being super careful. Always making sure to watch what you're doing when you slice with the mandolin. So there's the half an onion that I mandolin very thinly and I also peeled a clove of garlic. We're gonna put that in there too. And there's two ways you can do it. You can either heat up water on the stove to get the sugar and the salt to dissolve or you can just use um, some hot water. So I heated up um, half a cup of water in my tea kettle and so we're just gonna do this like the easy way. I always like to do things the easy way where you have like the least amount of cleanup. <laughs> So we're just going to have this hot water here and then we're going to add the sugar and the salt and the apple cider vinegar so that it's just one thing. So then it's gonna be a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and then we want half a tablespoon of sugar and then three quarter teaspoons of salt. So these all have to dissolve. Yeah, so it totally dissolves with the hot water. You don't even have to do anything on the stove. That's the easy way. Red onion goes in there and then we get the garlic clove in there and we're just going to seal it up and then we give it a shake. So we need to let these sit out at room temperature for about an hour and then after that they'll go in the fridge and then we'll start making the taco filling. So it's been an hour now and I put the pickled red onions in the fridge and we're gonna make the filling for the tacos now. So it's gonna be with potatoes and soy riso. So this is slightly different from the backlot nachos that I did um, like last week. You may have seen the video for the vegan backlot nachos copycat recipe. And um, I just used the soy riso on that. Um, but I was looking at the menu board for the plant-based tacos and it actually says soy riso and potato filling. So um, I'd never noticed when I was eating it in the park that the filling was different. I'm not sure if they are different. Maybe there's potatoes in the backlot nachos as well in the park. Um, but uh, I'm gonna do potatoes for this one. And then um, we'll do one cup of potatoes. So I have these Dutch yellow baby potatoes I got at Trader Joe's. Um, but uh, you can use any potatoes you like. Uh, I'm sure that russet would be fine. Any potatoes that you would use typically for like breakfast hash browns I think will be good. So now we got the potatoes all chopped up. I chopped them up pretty small because I want them to cook pretty fast along with the chorizo. And um, I was aiming for about a cup. So that was two of those medium, small medium potatoes. So I have um, a tablespoon of olive oil heating over here and we're going to fry these up and then we'll add the chorizo after that. So these are sauteing right now and I wanna make sure that they're mostly done by the time I add the soy riso because the soy riso cooks up really fast. And so we wanna make sure that these get fully done and we don't have any hard potatoes in our tacos. So the potatoes are almost done now and we're gonna add the soy riso. So this is just the Trader Joe's brand of soy riso. Um, I think it's actually the same as the El Burrito brand that I was using for the nachos. So any vegan um, chorizo that you would like will work. You know that moment where I take it out of the outer package and then I have the inner package in my hands and I just, I just can't help but laugh. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so hilarious. It's just the texture of it and everything. The <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get it in there now. We'll just snip off the ends. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the soy riso into the frying pan. Is it just me or does this take a lot of muscle? Squeeze it all out. So now we're just gonna mix it all together and saute it until it looks done. So now it's almost taco time. We just have to assemble. This um, finished up pretty well. You can see, uh, that's about how it looks when it's done. You can see that the uh, soy riso browns just a little bit, right? So when you actually get these tacos at California Adventure, they use white corn tortillas. So we have the um, little tiny white corn tortillas and um, I didn't make them from scratch. You can if you want though. <laughs> tortillas aren't that hard to make. I, um, I've never made corn tortillas from scratch, but I have made um, flour tortillas from scratch and it's super easy. But we're just gonna go for these right now. And I'm gonna warm them up just a little bit on my cast iron. So we just have the um, have it on super low and then we're gonna warm those up a little bit and then to um, Assemble we've got our pickled red onions from earlier 
And then I have this, um, any green salsa will do. On the menu board it says salsa del arbol, which um, is a type of chili pepper. And I looked up different recipes. That's actually a red pepper, um, but the salsa that they use on these tacos is very clearly green. So um, any salsa that you like uh, that is green will do the trick. And then we've got some limes um, for squeezing and plating. And then this is a cashew cream that I made for the backlot nachos, and it's the same uh, vegan uh, crema that they use on those nachos. So I still have this from when I made that video last week. So um, it is by a, a recipe blog called Time and Love, and I'll link that below. So I'm not gonna demonstrate making it because I demonstrate making it in the other video, and you can also just follow her recipe. So it's a cashew-based um, cream, and all you have to do is boil some cashews and then blend everything up. So this is a super quick recipe, and I'm just gonna use this one because I had it from before. So I wish I had one of those really cute little taco stands, you know, like the little triangle thing where you can plate your tacos on it and it looks really cute. I don't have that though. Maybe I'll get one one day, but for now, we're just gonna try to plate them as cutely as we can. Okay, so these tortillas are warm. We're gonna get these out and get two more, and it's gonna be two uh, tortillas for each taco, the traditional street taco way. All right, so let's get some of the soy riso filling in there. Sometimes when, they, when people make food photos, they intentionally have stuff like spilling out and messy, so maybe we'll do that. <laughs> I totally um, make it messy on purpose. <laughs> it's not an accident at all. All right, so there's our filling in there. And then next comes the salsa. After the salsa, we're gonna put on the pickled onions. And then the very last thing is the cashew crema that we made for the nachos, we're going to put on the tacos as well. This is always my favorite part. I love this squeeze bottle so much. Whew. Yeah, it's always when you put on that last garnish that you're like, it looks just like in the park. There they are. And of course we need the limes as well. So now they're nice and plated up and we can do the taste test. I wanted them to sit up nicely for the photos so I cut a lime in half and I like put it this way so that it would um, prop up the tacos. It's pretty good, I think. <laughs> I love tiny tacos. <laughs> They're so satisfying. I love tacos so much. Man, tacos are always like at the top of my list. When someone says like, what are you craving? Where do you want to go out to eat? Or like, what would you want to get most right now if you're going to go out to eat? Tacos. Mm. The combination of the potatoes and the soy riso is really, really good. I forgot to squeeze on some lime. Gotta get the lime on there. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> oh. And you might be wondering where I got this awesome shirt. It's by City Machine Apparel. I'll link it down below so you can get one if you want one. And the reason I wore it is because uh, these tacos, the, the truck where you get these tacos is in like the Marvel area of uh, California Adventure. Not like the Avengers Campus. Avengers Campus is not open yet, obviously. When that opens, that will be like the real Marvel area of the park. But for the last couple of years, um, the behind uh, Hollywood Boulevard, that's been like the area where all the Marvel characters do their meet and greets. So um, this is my Marvel shirt and I'm eating Marvel tacos. Um, I've been watching all of the Marvel movies in chronological order. I'm so excited to like fill in all the gaps that I had watched Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 before and I had watched Black Panther before in the theater, but I hadn't seen any of the others. So um, I like, you know, got it more or less. I knew who the characters were, but I'm so excited to like get deeper into Marvel and um, finally understand what's going on. And when Avengers Campus opens, um, hopefully at some point after Disneyland opens again, I will be able to appreciate it fully and really get who the characters are and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating my delicious tacos, my other taco, and I've got enough stuff to make several more tacos. So we'll see how many tacos I'll eat. Um, that's why I love about these tiny tacos is that you just, uh, you know, one taco is not a big commitment. You can just be like, oh, one more taco, one more taco. You can have a lot of tacos when they're tiny tacos. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for cooking with me. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more content about vegan options at Disneyland. And let me know in the comments what Disneyland recipe you would like me to make a copycat of next. And until next time, I'll see you real soon.